Today I got a good one for you folks. Today we're making southern crab beignets. Let's get it. Not a whole lot of ingredients, especially for the end result. When you think about this little bit of uh, ingredients and what you're gonna end up with, this right here is fire, folks. So listen, we got crab meat, we got breadcrumbs. These are actually uh, panko chips we are gonna use. Listen, when you say, you know, beignets and crab, you start thinking of being down south, you know, Louisiana, so why not use the hen eggs, right? So we got mayo, lemon juice. This is Dijon. Listen, I thought I had some Creole mustard. That's what I always make them with. But you know what? I'm gonna use Dijon. That's a great substitution. Okay, and then right here, look, we got cayenne. Look, I like to just use a pinch. It's up to you how hot it is. I suggest you do the pinch. You guys test it, and then next time you make it, you make the adjustment. Okay, so look, you see we got some green onion, and then look, I got the red onion, right? Just to give it a little bit of a different taste. You know, and this is my favorite right here. And listen, when we dice this, we wanna dice this a little bit on the small side. Okay, so look, what I did was, I didn't wanna bore everybody. Look, I didn't went ahead and just dice down everything, right? So look, now we're gonna go ahead and just start making our, you know, our, our balls, right? So we're gonna do it like this. I'm gonna start with my eggs, right? Again, you know, you guys see the brown, you know, I guess you guys don't think I can't get no brown eggs, right? But check it out, just cause you live in the concrete jungle don't mean you can't get no hen eggs. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna whisk, whisk these just to get them nice and light, a little bit on the frothy side, right? So all we gonna do is just go eggs, mayo, and then our mustard, right? But I just wanna see my eggs like this. Now I just wanna put some salt and pepper in there, pour them in this cast iron skillet, and get down with some eggs, right? So. Now I'm gonna come with the, the mayo. Don't forget folks, you gotta have the proper tools in your kitchen to make your life so much easier. Now we just start working this in, just giving this a little bit of a head start. Now we're gonna come with our mustard. I like to use a Creole mustard or a grainy mustard, but just again, I wasn't able to find it, so this is what I got. I'll leave all that down in the description box below with the recipe, you know, your alternatives, but Dijon does work. Okay, so look, I'm gonna start with my cayenne, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a pinch. Ah, that's it right there. I don't wanna go no further, you know, for me. Then my lemon juice, right? And now, look, I'm gonna take just about a handful of my onions. You know, I'm just moving this around. I look at it, and it's just a matter of like how do I wanna see it. You know what I mean? Uh, so, this right here would probably be good. Then once I get the crab meat in the inside, then, you know, then I'll make my adjustment, right? Come with a little green onions, you know what I mean? Uh, let's do it like this, folks. Let's go ahead and go ahead and do it like this. Just the way you guys are gonna be cooking it anyway, you know, at the pad, right? So we just get this in here, work it around. If the cayenne is on a bowl, you can see it if you're using a glass bowl, but I can see how it's incorporated and it's nice. This is it right here. So you know what, I think now would be a good time for me to go ahead and just, you know, crack some of this black pepper in here. You don't have to use a whole lot. I'm just thinking like maybe like a half a teaspoon, something like that. Then I'm finna come with my kosher salt. I'm just gonna go ahead and just give it a pinch or two. That's it right there. Those are two small pinches. Now we go ahead and come with our panko. I just wanna bring this around like this and just be delicate with it, you know? It's gonna start to thicken up anyway once the panko starts to absorb you know our batter, right? So this is good right here. Now, for the good part, folks, now we're getting ready to add, you know, our crab meat. Before I put it in here, I like to break it up. I want you guys to just see. Just break it up a little bit. I'm still trying to be gentle with it, you know what I mean? But I just want to make sure that it doesn't get broke down into a bunch of small pieces because, you know, when you eat it, you want to get it and you want to just taste the crab, you know? This right here is, is good, ooh yeah. So now I'm gonna just start folding this over like this, just to give this a little bit of a head start. But you can see it's starting to come together. Look at that right there. But we're not done yet, cause we got one, you know, open up one can. Now we got one more to do. Okay, so now we're just gonna fold this in, right? And it's starting to get thick. Now remember, we I held back some of the red onions, right? That's for me making it, you know what I mean? And I'm an onion fan. I don't care if it's yellow, white, or red. Or you know what, in some cases, green. You know what I mean? Uh, that's good too. But I just wanna keep folding it over like this and I look at it. I can see a little bit of the, uh, I can see it, you know, the red onion, but I can tell you this, we finna go in and put a little bit more in there. I 
I'm thinking I'm gonna need a little bit more, you know, pepper. If it's a little bit more on the wet side, all you gotta do is add just a little bit more panko, which I think I'm going to, just to get it, because I wanna be able to form a ball, I want it to be able to hold that shape, so that when I put it in the you know, refrigerator, it come out and it's still a ball. Okay, so look, what I didn't do is show you guys how I struggled by putting saran wrap on anything, folks. Hey, but look, I got it covered. I'm finna put it in the refrigerator. Listen, we gonna go in for a minimum of a one hour, but I'm gonna tell you, for me, I like to do mine right at two hours. This way they be nice and firm, so when we form those balls, they hold that together, they nice and, you know, firm, and then we put them in that, ooh, I don't even wanna over talk you, folks. One hour to two hours. Okay, so look, I'm gonna have you guys come on in here and look at, you know, this. It really nothing to look at. Look, they only been in the refrigerator for two hours, right? So they nice and chilled, right? So look, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it and then you want to make your balls as consistent as possible, right? So, I'm going to just show you this, and I'm going to have you guys come on in here and take a look at that. When they nice and chilled, you know what I mean? You don't have to, like, compact them. I'm just trying to get them a little bit more so on the round side, right? Just as much as possible. You still want them to be a little bit on the airy side, you know what I mean? Even if that is a word, you know what I mean? So, but you want them all to be about, like, this size right here, you know? So, you can see that. You can see crab. I can see parts of the green onion, you know what I mean, some nice crab meat. Oh yeah, this is it right here. So look, then I just start staging them like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one. I want you to see you just want to be as consistent as possible, right? So just looking at that one, you know what I mean? Uh, and again, when you see me roll it a little bit, I'm not trying to compact it because I don't want no dense ball. You know what I mean? Uh, we just want it to be just round. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. That's why I really love video, you know what I mean? So you can just like show it. You know what I mean? It's like taking a live class. But you look at that, this one might be just a little bit bigger, but I'm not compacting it, right? Because we want it to still be light, right? You can see that right there. That's the size I want to get. Hopefully when I make this third one right here, it don't get bigger and I keep saying that's it right there. So I got this up to temp right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put them in like this. And listen, we just cooking these to color. You know what I mean? Uh, by the time you get your color, I promise you these will be done. So you just wanna load them up like this. Now, I'll say this, if you're gonna use cast iron, it's okay. You know what I mean? Just make them a little smaller. But if you guys know, I'm always trying to do something, I'll do myself, make things, you know, on a bigger size. And this is the way I normally do them. I thought the cast iron would have looked better but this right here do it, right? So we don't want to overcrowd it. Everything's ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop them in right now. They're not gonna just like start off, off, you know, just like frying like you guys think. But you see that right there? My temp is right and this is how I look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on here and I'm gonna take a look at them again. Probably in about like, i uh, say about like two minutes. Now I want you guys to take a look at these right here. Right, so if I take them like this, look at that color right there. Ooh wee. I'm gonna let them go for about, this is where I go wrong. Because really you cook these to color, right? You could test the inside and all of that, you know, for temperature. But I promise you, when you cook them like this and they no bigger than what you guys saw, they'll come out just fine, right? So I'm just going like about another, you know, 15, 20 seconds. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm going to take them like this. Now we're going to let them drain. And look at that right there, folks. Okay, so you can see the golden brown color it is. Look, those came out perfect. Let me go ahead and finish these up. And let's talk about what you serve this with. I'm gonna put out like a, uh, a little sauce, you know, a little ramelade, which I'll put down in the description box below. So you guys can, uh, you know, go ahead and make that and you let me know what you think about that. So let me get these done and then uh, let's get these all plated up, get them all nice looking and all that. And I gotta hurry up, cause listen, as I'm talking, I can feel my mouth just salivating. Okay, so look, I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here so you guys can just see. Look, this is the ramelade sauce that I made right here. Again, look, all you gotta do is look down at the bottom, uh, you know, in the description box and you guys will be able to get the uh, recipe. Look, now look, this is just for me, you know, getting a thumbnail, right? So I'm looking for the best ones that look the best. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, they all look the best to me. Look, all we gonna do is just, you know, put some here. You know, I'll probably just put three on here and get a thumbnail. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, you know, go ahead and eat one. Now I made one, I made a small one in the very beginning. They fire. 
But you see that right there? That's it. Now, you guys can get yourself like a, a little bottle. You can drizzle it on the top. You can also take this. If you were, if you want to try to do like a real nice presentation, you can take this and you can put some of your Ramala sauce here. You know what I mean? Make a little line and you can put this down like that. You know, we can all be fancy, dress them up with some parsley. Hey, listen, I'm not finna over talk it. Let me get this picture and let's eat. Okay, so check it out. Now it's time to go ahead and eat one. I like the way these look right here. Listen, this sauce right here is fire. Don't sleep on that. So I'm gonna just take one of these. I'm just gonna go ahead and break it. I want you guys to come on in here and take a look at this. I'm gonna break this so you guys can see it. Look at this right there. You see that right there? Ooh wee. Look at that. This right here is fire, folks. All right, so listen, they great without the Ramallah, but listen, this right here complements it so well. So I just give it a little bit right there. You see that right there? Mm. Cheers, y'all. It ain't fair, folks. Now look, this is my own personal. I know y'all gonna hit me about, hey, he double dipping. But check it out, it's mine. And anyway, <laughs> the part I bit off was gone already anyway. Gotta make these. You talking about putting something out for your guests? I would suggest you guys make them smaller so they'll go a little, you know, you can go further. But this right here, if you got, you know, everybody just take two of these, you know, <laughs> two of these crab beignets and, uh, man, you be ready to sit down. They real filling, got a nice bite, but I promise you, it's the sauce, the ramelade and this, they go hand in hand. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Woo! Hey, I just got one question. Where is my sweet tea? Hey, you know what? I'm going to do a video on that, you guys. You know, let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see that. I know everybody say, well, how hard can it be? You know what I mean? But it's a few level ups we can do. Hey, I got a cold Arnold Palmer that will just, hey, set it off. You know what I mean? Hey, so with that being said, listen, these are great. You got to try them. Then you got to look. I, you guys are good with this, but this is for like the new people that's watching this video. You got to come back and share your experience. These right here is fire. Listen, I know I'm supposed to be closing this video up, but I'm about to eat this right now. So I'm gonna put this down right now, you know, so I can go ahead and just wrap it up. Hey, try it, super easy. You cook them to color, they come out just right, right? But again, the Ramalai will be down in the description box below, along with the rest of the ingredients, you know, with the amounts and all of that. Hey, so with that being said, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, Listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, check this out, folks. You see this? You see this? We finna make them merry, and I'm out. Peace.